What we're going to look at right now is a poorly performing control system. First, the process itself is a motor speed control. This is the same thing we use in our desktop process system. We have a DC motor and DC generator, motor driven by a pulse width modulation power controller. That receives its signal from a loop controller, telling the motor how fast to go. The generator, which is coupled to the motor, then sends a DC voltage signal to the loop controller, telling it how fast the motor is going. As you can see right here, the motor is speeding up and slowing down somewhat erratically. I wanted to explain what's going on here. We are not using our customary Siemens 353 loop controller. Instead, we have powered that down, disconnected it, and patched it in temporarily to this controller right here. This is a uh, Distech model ECP410. This controller was never intended for this process application, which is why it's performing so poorly. It's not that there's anything wrong with this controller per se, it's simply the wrong application. This controller was intended for building control, heating, ventilation, air conditioning, boiler control, chiller control, fan control, things like that. It does PID, however, it does it on a very slow cycle of sampling and processing. That's exactly why you hear this motor speed up and slow down at uh, these discrete intervals. Every time you hear the motor change speed, that is a new cycle, a new update of the controller. This loop controller, this ECP410, like I said, was intended for building control, heating, cooling, that sort of thing. And the time constants and delays involved with those sorts of processes are very, very slow. They're on the order of hours, not seconds or fractions of a second. Here with our process, motor speed control, the time constants are very, very short. This motor speeds up and slows down extremely rapidly compared to, let's say, the time it takes for a room to heat up or cool down. Therefore, the slow scan time and processing time of this controller is wholly inadequate for the task we're uh, giving it right here with motor speed control. So, just an example of what happens if your control system does not update fast enough for the needs of the process. Again, I need to reiterate, there's really nothing wrong with this controller. I'm simply putting it or applying it to a, a task it was never intended to function in. Now, this is actually a very capable unit. Um, it programs like a dream. It's got a function block programming language. In fact, we can take a look at that right now. I'll step around to the other side. We'll take a look at the computer that is running the programming software. And we can see right here, here's the motor speed PID control block, the set point, and then on a different tab of this display, on the GFX program software, we see the analog input and the analog output. It's a neat system, very capable, but as I said, it is uh, inadequate for the particular task we're asking to do right here.